Okay, now let's get you up and hovering. Take the left stick and start moving it up. This is the throttle stick. You'll see the blade starting to spin. Bring the stick up slowly. You'll see the helicopter begin to get light on the skids here. You just have to make small corrections to try and hold it in one spot. You can add a little more throttle and come up a little bit higher. Your goal here is to try and hold it still basically, but you can let it drift around a little bit like this. Don't be too critical on yourself. One thing that helps is keeping the tail pointed directly at you or at an angle where you can see it easily. This helps to keep the controls oriented the same at all times. As I said, if you find yourself drift around like this, it's pretty normal. You'll notice the controls on a helicopter lag behind a little bit of what you input and what the helicopter does. This is mainly due to the weight and just the motion. If you start getting into trouble, just pull the throttle back a little bit. The training gear will straighten the helicopter out for you. Turn the tail back towards you and slowly add throttle again to lift back off. Once you start getting the hovering down, you can start working on moving around a little bit to different spots on the ground. Like we can move out to the yellow line in the center of the runway here. Just try to maintain the same altitude and everything. Bring it to a stop and just try to hold it there for a little bit. Then we can go over to the right and fly over to the yellow line. hover over top of it for a little while and try to bring it back to yourself then. Just make small goals for yourself for now.